Hello and welcome to Planting of the Geeks. You join us for an unboxing of the Dragon Fate Dias, which is out today. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the second video we're doing today. If you've not seen it already, we have had a video on the new Paladins. Yep. Built them with the Decimator, so go and check that out. And uh, this video is just an unboxing of this. So this is the first piece of Age of Sigma scenery I've, I've had my hands on. Yep. And uh, hopefully I'll be getting some more in the future, but we'll have to see. But this is the first one. It's quite uh, a small um, box. Yeah, it is, considering it looks quite a big... It looks big on the picture. ...piece of scenery. It, it's in a dinky little box. No, there's no rattle, so it sounds pretty stuffed. Yeah. Um, there's no shrink wrap on it, but I haven't opened it yet. So, let's get this open. Oops, what have we got here? Oh. So, there's a bit of it. Oh, cool. This is made from a very different kind of plastic than mm. the model. It's quite a oh, thick, wow, durable. Oh wow, that looks oh, cool. awesome. It's got the writing on it. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Some more bits. So this reminds me of the um, defence line set and stuff like that. What's that? Oh, is that the flames? Mm. Oh, that's weird that they're individual like that. So no sprues. They're all in this little... So, yeah, this just, this just reminds me of the, um... Is it the Aegis cool. line or what? The Aegis line, and, yeah. the, and the guns they brought out for it and stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's handy, but it's all like little package. Just got to get it out. So those are the drag. Oh, I think they'll just click out, won't they? That one's falling out. It's good. So there's not much... There's a bit of cleaning up being done on that. Some sprue lines. Not sprue lines. Mold lines, should I say. They've obviously been attached to a sprue at one point. And they've cut them off. And which is weird. Which explains why oh, the box is quite... Done. Yeah. Um, I suppose it's now like package it in. Because yeah. you can fit the sprues in a small box like that. There we go. So we have the other bits here. So we've got some stairs. Some more stairs and a, uh, a little bag of little bag of something bits. Oh, oh bubble wrap! Bubble wrap! Play bubble wrap! That's Yay! Cool. Got bubble wrap to see. Hmm. There we go. That looks like the wings. So those are the wings. Yeah. The dragons. Yeah. Cool. So awesome. as usual, we will put this together now. So we'll see how difficult it's going to be. I think it's the first piece of scenery we've put together on the mm. channel. So what are we starting with here? Uh, starting with the base. The base? Yeah. Which is this so bit. So that. This is the... No, no. Sorry, that bit. That right, bit. so we start with that bit which attaches... To there. To there. So does that, that just clip in then? Just put that on the camera. There you go. It does clip in pretty solidly. Right. Still going to glue it. Okay. Uh, do I want to glue it first? Or yeah, I do. It's fine. I can paint that afterwards. It's nice and blocky. So let's just uh, get some glue on there. Feels like a very different plastic, though. Yeah, it feels quite like you said sturdy. Sturdy, bulky. Mm. It feels quite as well detailed, but it feels more durable. I don't know though. I mean, some of yeah, that writing well is pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, actually, maybe so, a bit wrong there. That goes. It's pretty detailed. So that goes at an angle, like so. So that's not going to stay on there. No, that needs. So that glue. definitely needs glue on. And what is next? Uh, the dragons. So the columns are next. So they do the column individually. This yep. bit just glues on there. He says. <laughs> he says as it goes falling on the floor. Yeah, so it definitely is gluing on. It's not going to stay on when it's on steam at all. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'll keep hold of that. Yep. Um, so what's next? The dragons, so the you columns. need the columns, yeah. So and then these. the wings just go up. They're all the same, They're aren't they? They're all the same, I Just assume. identical. Yeah. Alright, well we will stick them together because doing it on camera might take a little while because I'm still holding this and I don't want to let go. So we'll stick the dragon wings on and we're back with you. Yep. Okay, so we've got the dragons together. There they are. Five of them are the same. Stick the wing on. Done. Mm -hmm. Next is to 
slot them, them in. into these places. Yeah. So they're just slotting by the looks of it. Probably should have tested this before I start to film again. That goes on alright. So we'll put some glue on and then we'll uh, slot those five in. So what do you think of this so far? Uh, so far I'm fairly impressed to be quite honest. It's all packaged up nice and neatly. Everything's de sprued for you. Yeah. A little bit of cleaning up, but nothing massive. Um, yeah, it's quite sturdy as well. Um, and that, all that sturdy. writing on there is kind of quite impressive, really. I mean, the last, I can't remember the last time I bought a piece of uh, Warhammer scenery, it was probably the Fortified Manor. Yes, I think it was actually. I bought another, I had two of them, one was for converting into something else, which I never did. So now there's a chapel and a watchtower. So they just go on there like that, don't they? Mm, yeah. I have to wait for that to dry properly. But next thing is this little circular bit, which goes in the middle. Actually, it's the flames next. All right. You follow the... Follow the guide, the yeah. flames go on. Flames go on. This really doesn't really matter which one. It doesn't matter, you can on. put it all on. But we'll put the flames on, because that gives them time to, to dry. Make sure that we're on there. So the flames, they're just going to sit on top, aren't they? Yeah, they just sit on top, so whatever. I suppose they're probably best all going in the same direction. Uh, just yeah, for effect. I'd say so. So it so looks like the wind's hitting them. So we'll just pick a direction. And Left. Depends on which way we're in, you know. <laughs> I only said left because I'm left handed. Yeah, I know. I mean it. I know. These are actually different as well, aren't they? They're not all just copies. No, they're all they've all got their own little flame, if you will. Like that they're attached to skulls, aren't they? This is true. <laughs> there you go, them all waft in a similar <laughs> direction. Waft. Waft waft. Waft waft. There we go. And this little bit will go in the centre. Yep. So, just put some glue on that. And this is a bit where your model will stand. Well, over the blood thing. Is it going in any particular way? No, I think it just goes in any way. Mm. I'll put it on that. So? Mm -hmm. That looks alright. Yeah. So I'll just wait for that to set and then we'll move on. Yep. Okay, so here we have this bit here and this bit here. So I'm just going to put some glue on there. And this will be the last piece of this. Make sure that we're going to stay on. And that somehow fits on here. I've just put it on as a test thing and now I can't get it back on again. <laughs> you, know, you know, as soon as you put glue on something, yeah. it no longer fits. Yeah, this is going to look really good on camera. Hold on. <laughs> get a closer look. There we go. Yeah. It does actually fit on quite well and it stays on. You just get it in the right place. But there we are, that's the uh, dais complete. Cool. Just for scale purposes. And there's the dude, big base. So that middle bit is kind of designed for a big base like that. Mm. So you put your priest on the middle bit there and start praying to the gods. Not that he's a priest, he's just a, a, a lord. He's just some dude. Just some dude. There's a smaller base guy. That's my witch hunter, just for scale. I just have to stand down there. Oh, I'm higher than you. <laughs> so that's cool, actually. I like yeah. that. And I'd read some bad things about the quality of the scenery, but I think that's amazing. I really like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm awesome. well impressed. Yeah, I'm up for getting some more of that as well. Yeah. Um, as soon as we can afford to. That's going to be great. So there it is. Completed. I like the way it's sort of like suspended off the ground. <laughs> yeah. well. So I can't wait to get that painted. So hopefully you'll see that in one of the Age of Sigma battles that we will do. Mm -hmm. Hopefully in action. 
That's very cool. All impressed. Yeah. So uh, there we go. So mm -hmm. other things we're doing. If you've seen our other video, we told you about some of the stuff we're doing. We're rebasing models. Currently rebased a bunch of orcs. So there we go on the 32 mil bases. These are some of the savage orcs I had uh, left over that I hadn't stuck together anyway. So if you want to see the savage orcs as they were before, they're getting rebased. There's actually a uh, video that I did earlier last year uh, with the first Warhammer army that I actually put up with my Savage Orcs and Forest Goblins, so you can have a look at that. But I'll do another showcase once I've rebased them and I painted all these other ones that I've, I've had lying about for ages in a box. Mm -hmm. uh, Claire's currently doing the Chaos stuff. Yeah, the Chaos stuff from the Sigma box set. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm nearly finished. Nearly finished. She um, says. She says. You still got the Reavers today. I know. <laughs> started on that. I know. There's a lot of them. And uh, next week, there'll be even more coming out. So. I know. As I said, ah. as I said in another video we did today, <laughs> we're going to be doing them next week. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. If I get any of the scenery in between, I will do a video of unboxing for them as well. Because I'm quite impressed by that. And I like the look of all the scenery they've done so far. I like the gates, bit, the realm gates. It's a bit esoteric. I quite mm. like it. Yeah. The realm gates, they're cool. I like the way they sort of, they sort of stand like this as well on their own. They do. Sort of hovering. Paint them a bit like the Dark Portal. The Oculus looks cool. Yeah. It was, the, the, it was a toss up between this and the Oculus. It was actually. I'm glad we got this though. Well, it was only because it had dragon in yeah, the you title. Know, my love of dragons. <laughs> so um, there we go. I can see us going back for the Oculus. Yeah, I think, I think the Oculus Rift. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. I can't afford an Oculus Rift. That'd be cool. Virtually, do it, virtually playing Warhammer, not for fret. <laughs> so yeah, I'm well, I'm, I'm well impressed by that. Mm. It's stuck together really easily, and it's been prepped pretty pretty well. There's a few little mm. mold lines that need to come off it. Yeah, but, but uh, to be fair, that's been prepped really well. So I'm quite happy with that. Mm. Cool. So, and it's inspired me to get some more terrain. Yeah. So, great. So, thanks for watching. This has been a much shorter video than the other one uh, yeah. we put up today because it was quite easy to put together. I wasn't I expecting hope it's been it to look like that. Weren't you? No. What were you expecting to look like? I don't know. I thought it was going to be on like a spoo or something like that. Yeah. yeah was, when it came it's in that little dinky box. That it's been packaged. Yeah. Really that, I think that's why it was so quick to put together. It was. There's no despruing, no. no. It wasn't much clean up. Mm. I've only took a couple of lines off. There's a few more I can see I might take off as well. Yeah. But hopefully next time you see this it'll be painted. That's a priority now to paint that because it looks so cool. Great. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It helps out loads. And hopefully we'll see you again soon. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.